they are comfortable and for wide feet so i mean can i get more perfect for a shoe i don't think so hello everyone welcome to today's video because today i am showing you the best designer heels if you have wide feet because i do have very wide feet and I struggle to find them and if you do too then keep on watching because I'm showing you the best of the best shoes to buy but first if you're new here let me introduce you to you because my name is Chiara and I do videos about luxury fashion luxury shoes handbags what to buy what better not to buy and you can actually just kind of see me as your online luxury magazine in video format so without rambling on i will just start telling you about the shoes to buy if you have as wide as feet as i have first of all i start with the best high heels for wide feet because if you do have wide feet, which I kind of assume when you watched, when you clicked on this video, then you know how much of a struggle it is to find wide and um, high heels for wide feet. Because if you wear, for example, pumps that are not made for wide feet, it hurts like hell, and your skin and your feet they kind of like they blurb out of the shoe and it just does not look nice so for me the best high heels that i found for wide feet are the Gianmita Rossi Portofino pumps and kind of as a testament of how much i think those shoes are great for wide feet i have four of them i bought four of the, those shoes like in different um just in different materials and colors and those are like one of them those are my favorites actually because i mean look at them those are called the bunny portofino heels and aren't they absolutely stunning they have like this bunny heel here and the bunny ears they are absolutely perfect and they are kind of here like the the, the thingy the strap here is perfect if you have white feet because it's not too tight and that's usually something that I experience with a lot of shoes because it gets so tight and I want like well my feet are not made for those shoes but my feet are made for those shoes and I assume that they will be made for your feet as well if you have wider feet so then let me just see because I have my little notebook here so what the next item are some Saint Laurent shoes. And Saint Laurent for me is another brand which is which is perfect, literally perfect for wide feet because I think that their shoes are cut for wide feet. Like I suspect that if you if you have like very small and very thin feet then you will struggle with Saint Laurent heels but I don't so I I'm in love with Saint Laurent heels. For example, those are, I think they are called the Tribute Pumps or heel, like the peep toes. And those are perfect. Like, my feet do not hurt and they have enough space in between here. Like, they literally have enough space and they are just, they don't hurt. It's just a perfect heel for wide feet. And also, again, if you have small feet, then I think that those shoes probably aren't for you because I think that you will have too much space there. That's never a problem that I have, but just keep that in mind if you are watching this video and you do not have wide feet, but you like those, try them on because I think it might be very well possible that you will kind of fall out of those shoes because they really are made for wider feet. But I mean, they are also very pretty and also they are surprisingly comfortable like who would assume that those color heels are comfortable but they really are they really are comfortable like they are comfortable and for wide feet so i mean can i get more perfect for a shoe i don't think so i really don't think so and then those are the next heel we're with the flats now because 
flats are super hard if you have wide feet as well because I think with heels like they usually only have a few straps here and there and yeah I can get uncomfortable but like it's not uncomfortable on your whole feet but with flats like there is material all over the shoe so if if that's too tight then you're literally like I sometimes feel like I will faint because I feel like no blood can circulate in my feet and that's not a nice feeling like oh that's not nice so yeah I was trying out a lot of flats until I found like my go-to flats for my wide ass feet <laughs> and yeah first of all I have again Saint Laurent like I said Saint Laurent for me makes shoes for wide feet I think because I also have boots and everything like they are all perfect so those are some Saint Laurent espadrilles and they have this like kind of distressed thing here they are perfect you would think they are white so oh no white espadrilles like how can you wear them they will get so dirty they don't like I wore them on holiday I wore them on a city trip on a city trip to Istanbul and Istanbul it's one it's a beautiful city like one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to but it for sure is not a clean city the streets there are not super clean and I wore them I think I think every day during the day I wore them every day and they still look perfect so that says a lot and I was I mean I went to the souk like to the to the souk to everywhere I went there like I wasn't only on a rooftop bar <laughs> zipping my drink <laughs> and also if we are talking about Saint Laurent can we just appreciate this little tumbler here that's my Saint Laurent tumbler I got it in the Paris store and it's just perfect I love it I love it love it very good <laughs> so yeah Saint Laurent Saint Laurent now I'm now I can't even talk anymore so Saint Laurent espadrilles are perfect for my feet and then another pair of flat shoes are those Chanel <sighs> loafers I love them I love them very 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 much like they are they are literally perfect and they have this C, C and I actually think that the C is, stands for wider feet because so now they have those letters and I think the C is for wide feet like I have to check but if you buy the C then it's perfect for wide feet and yeah I wear them all the time I don't fall out like they are not too wide and I also don't feel like my feet get suffocated so that's another plus and I mean those are just perfect like perfectly beautiful loafers like if the Chanel logo here and the, I think it's cough hair or something like that and yeah literally wore them so so much and you can't even tell that I wore them so much like they literally look like new so so yeah those are also very good shoes for white feet and then another shoe and with those with the uh, <laughs> with this shoe I was always thinking like well I always heard oh they are better for more narrow feet and I mean they look so delicate and beautiful I was like well that's probably not probably not a shoe for me but I bought them because I tried them on and they are actually perfect I actually think those are <laughs> probably the most perfect shoes for wide feet because let me just show you you don't even know what I'm talking about I'm talking about the Manolo Blahnik flats I mean if you were to think about a shoe that looks delicate and is probably more for narrow feet you would probably think about those I did I don't know if you do too but I did and with those because they're made of this satiny material the good thing is that the material kind of stretches and it kind of forms around your foot so that's amazing they are so so they're just comfortable great and I have to say that I think those are probably the best shoes for white feet in my opinion they literally are because I think most of the materials don't really stretch a lot and they do but they don't stretch too much they stretch around your foot and that's very good but also I would say 
keeping that in mind if you do not have wide feet and you buy those shoes pre-loved be cautious because if someone with wide feet had them before you then they will probably too big, be too big for you which would be a shame because those shoes are not cheap they literally are quite expensive they are pains me to say but they are around a thousand bucks mark so for me they're worth it but it's a lot of money so keep that in mind please and also now when we're talking about, pri about prices you usually um, wonder how much the items are that I show you so I will just make a little roundup and tell you how much each shoe goes for so first of all the Tamitrosi Portofino those run for about 700 US dollars and yeah quite expensive but for me Tammy De Rossi is my favorite shoe brand of them all and yeah I think a lot of shoes are $700 around this mark but I think like the only shoe one of the only ones that's really worth it is the Tammy De Rossi one then we come to the Saint Laurent tribute and they would run also around the one ever around the $700 mark six seven hundred dollars I think hundred dollars but this is a shoe that you can get amazing deals if you buy them pre-loved so yeah great thing um, great deal you can get with them then the espadrilles they are about 350 so quite a good price for luxury designer shoes if you ask me and especially if you think about how much I already wore mine so good shoe good shoe and then the chanel's like you would expect it chanel's are expensive but they're actually they're actually less expensive than the manolos the loafers are around 850 and they go up to over a thousand so always like every season is a little bit different but and the material the materials of the shoe they kind of dictate the price but I think I paid 850 for mine so they were on the lower end of the loafers so those <laughs> were my top picks not were those are my top picks for these giant designer shoes if you have wider feet and I really hope that this helped you because let me tell you I tried out so many shoes and if I look there there is my shoe wall and I see a lot of shoes that I just can't wear because they are not made for wide feet and those are literally like the creme de la creme for the shoes for wide feet and if you have any other shoe that you think is perfect for wide feet let me know in the comments down below because I'm always looking for some new shoes because I'm a lover of shoes and I have too many shoes like I have I don't know 100 150 200 something like that so I tried a lot of them out so you can you can you can really trust my opinion here and yeah that's everything I wanted to talk to you and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe down below and then you won't miss any other uploads of mine and I will just see you in my next video, hopefully. So have a nice day. Bye-bye.